really cool. It's kind of, it's actually really thought provoking and a little depressing. I mean, what's depressing is that he did some stuff that I just didn't think of that is really useful. The other thing that's depressing is he's got this flicker manager. Oh my God. It's like, I started to get to the scene like when three things are in the same vertical region, they do the minimum amount of flicker. It's like, oh my god, I started working on that algorithm in 81, but I gave up because I ran out of time. This is depressing. But it's totally, it totally works. I wish I'd done it. So you're going to go back and update the original I'm not package. positive. I'm not, that'd be a lot of work. I don't guarantee that I will. And I really like the way, this never occurred to me either. I can see that you get these single line dots. Okay, my pills are double line. Back then, double-line kernels were the norm. Single-line kernels were just becoming something we thought was practical. But he drops the maze graphics out on the line with dots. And it makes the single-line dots really bright. That is really clever. I wish I'd thought of that. One thing I have never gotten is why people are so persnickety about the, about the exact maze layout. It's like my maze is simpler takes less rock. And I have these edges at the top and bottom, and that freaks people out, and I got no idea why. It's like, they're exits. So what if they're on the top and bottom instead of the left and right? I mean, come on, I just don't get it. This is a really excellent. And for me, of course. Thank you. Somewhat emotional, and also very thought-provoking. This is great. I. Thank you. You're welcome.